probably the most like ugliest lighting and angle ever but i'm sitting like on my it's like a day bed couch but it's it, like you can put it up and down and i'm sitting like on the little like indent part of it and i just figured i wanted to start this video off this morning by just doing like a little what are we gonna do today and it's been a long time since i've actually started a video it's been a long time since i've like even recorded anything i think the last time i recorded anything was actually like a book review and yeah so i'm currently i'm in my new place right now which that was reason why i took so long to film videos i'm finally in my new place i mean i've been in my new place for two and a half months but it's still taking me a lot of time just to unpack and organize and the thing about me is that when it comes to moving i take forever to unpack and organize i just I don't know why i just i don't know if i overthink about where i want to put everything but it takes me forever also being an adult and a mom and also in school of course it's going to take me a lot longer so i have to stop being so hard on myself about that but i have been wanting to film something for the longest time and i have been watching book food book food book two videos again and every time i watch book two videos they make me want to film again and they make me miss filming and i in terms of reading i haven't been reading as much as i was before i moved i don't know if it's just because like well actually it's probably because like my new work schedule transitioning to everything trying to unpack organize and then also just i can't really just settle and read if everything around me is disorganized i have been reading a book like consecutively but i wouldn't say i'm like reading that fast like if anything i'm reading it takes me like three weeks to finish a book if not a month or so to finish a book and so that's why i was kind of like contemplating about even doing content but then i thought about it and even the booktubers that i watch in terms of booktube videos i watch i noticed that i don't really care if they're reading a bunch of books or if they're reading one book i just like when they're talking about books but they're also doing vlogging and i'm like you know what i'm gonna be doing a lot of things today i want to kind of get my laundry like organized kind of put away i have a lot of boxes and my house is still like really disorganized nothing's really in its place and i want to kind of organize everything and then put away my laundry as well as put up my christmas decorations i actually just got my first christmas tree and that was super exciting this is like my very own christmas tree that i bought myself in my own place because this is my very own place well me and my babies but yeah i just i want to put up my christmas decorations i want to decorate everything put up organize decorate it and i also want to disinfect everything because i was sick recently i just i actually am still getting over it thankfully today i feel a lot better compared to the other days so today is just more of like i don't want to push it as well because if i'm just now starting to feel somewhat okay i don't want to push it i don't want to push like my health right now because i've just been getting sick repeatedly and i think it's because of the holidays and i i know the holidays i think it's just because of like everything like trying to move unpack transition a new schedule and i've been waking i work a lot farther from my where i live and so that's been taking a lot out of my schedule and yeah but i'm still grateful for everything like i'm grateful for my home i actually really love my home there's still a lot, a lot of work that needs to be done yeah i'm really grateful for my house and my place and yeah and anyways i'm like trailing off i think because there's just so much i need to catch you guys up on that i'm like where do i start and i just started watching videos again like book two videos and I was like, you know what, it doesn't matter if I'm reading one book or anything, even if I'm just listening to an audiobook while I'm doing things, I feel like anything that's incorporated with reading or somewhat books are always the type of videos I like watching, and then they're just doing also other things, and I like that, I like those type of vlogs, so I'm like, you know what, I'm just gonna just start slowly dipping my feet back into my content again, and stop overthinking about it and think like oh i'm not really reading though but i'm like you know it doesn't matter as long as you're reading and you have a book then that's all that matters and but yeah i'm like you know i'm gonna just start i just finished two books i just finished finding cinderella by colleen hoover and then i finished oh yeah i happened on christmas eve i wanted i was in the mood for like a cozy christmas hallmarkish like type of book and so i picked that one up that was actually a lot better than i thought i guess i was going in with low expectations because I'm not gonna like be critical about it it's just a cheesy rom-com and like you know just like those like hallmark type of lifetime christmas books and it was really it was actually really good you know like of course it wasn't like phenomenal but in terms of what i wanted at the time like a cozy just read and something easy it definitely was that so i finished that just yesterday and i just noticed that when i'm filming videos and i'm vlogging i've noticed that i'm more attached to reading again it just helps me with my i don't know just endeavoring reading again and so i felt like you know what i'm gonna start doing videos because 
I like documenting and like talking about how I feel and I think that's one thing that really helped me reading was actually talking about it. Uh, Hogwarts Legacy just came out and I have gotten back into being addicted to my Switch again. The thing about having my Switch is that I go in and out of getting like playing it and getting obsessed and then just I kind of put it on the shelf for a while and then I play it again. But when I get into my Switch again, I kind of hold off on reading a lot. I still read but I always balance like, oh, do you want to play my Switch or do you want to read? That's like another thing I wanted to do today as well. Yeah, so I might not go crazy about trying to find a book, but there is a few, so we can go look at my shelf real quick. Okay, so my bookshelf isn't fully done, but, and this is not like how it's supposed to be. I'm just, it's just a rough one right now. So I honestly kind of wanted to read, I kind of want to get into the Caraval series because I have been wanting to read that lately and like, I really want to read Once Upon a Broken Heart, but for some reason, I don't think, think you have to read those, these series, um, to start reading Once Upon a Broken Heart, but I do want to get that started. And then also, um, I'm thinking about starting the Raven Boys series. The thing about series, though, is that with well, Christmas coming up, I want to read a bunch of those like Hallmarkish, really cheesy Christmas books, and I don't want to get stuck into starting a series, because the thing about series, I have to kind of go into them consecutively because I feel like if not I forget everything that happens then we're gonna go to this side and um what was the other book I was thinking about reading oh yeah I was thinking about also starting Dark Breaks the Dawn I don't really hear a lot of people talking about this but I actually got that at a used bookstore and it's actually a, a decent size and so I'm thinking about starting it but I don't know I'm not for sure yet like um, and it's 300 pages. I've been trying to keep it short, like do shorter books. And I wanted to do something not too crazy. This is not my setup for my bookshelf, so it's not really a bookshelf tour. <laughs> but this is just kind of like what I've had right now. And then also, I have a bunch of Christmas decorations. Like, I have all these ornaments I want to put up. I actually got my very first Christmas tree, like, of my, my new place. I'm excited. And I just really want to put up all these Christmas decorations. So I'm thinking about doing that. And I might put like a little wreath. I want to set up my mantle. I'm not going crazy for Christmas decorations this year, just small little things. I'm kind of sad. So I got like a little Christmas squishmallow and I kind of dried him off. I kind of put him in the dryer because I wanted to have like the hot air. I don't know if this like actually works, but I wanted the hot air to kind of disinfect some of the germs I had because I was like cuddling with him. This is Ernesto and he's my little Christmas squishmallow. I'm a grown child with a child, <laughs> but I'm, I put him in the dryer and his little Christmas tree won't stay up. I'm like, I'm trying to fix it to make it stand up more. Also, sorry, it's really loud. My laundry's going right now. I paused it to film that last part. It stopped. He's like so cute. I didn't understand the hype with them, but now I get why people love these things. Like they're freaking comfortable. Cause this thing was like keeping me company when I was sick. Also, I've been watching Cozy K. She's been keeping me company while I'm doing things around the house. Don't mind this. I originally, when I bought this, I was hoping it'd be a lot longer than the TV, but I might, so I might get two, but for now I'm just gonna stick with one. And don't mind the wires, I don't have any cable management at the moment. But yeah, she's been keeping me a lot of company and she kind of got me back into wanting to play my Switch again. Every time I watch her, I always want to play my Switch again. And before I forget, I wanted to do like a mini book haul, like the books I've accumulated the past few months. I haven't really been filming. It's not a lot and a lot of these, a couple of these were actually just sent to me from the author, but I wanted to like include it because they sounded really interesting, but I'm not gonna go into all the synopsis. So the one I just recently got was, which I find the cover to be so cool. Also, sorry about the lighting. I'm literally on my makeup vanity right now and the lighting in here is pretty bad. I got Middle Game by Sean McGuire and I freaking love this cover. The concept of this book is actually really, really cool. And it's about like these two twins who were designed to be like really prestigious twins in certain um, areas. And I just said I was gonna go over the synopsis, but this one sounded really cool. It's like, it's easier for me to explain. So there's Dodger and Roger. Dodger, her obsession is, I'll just read it real quick. So it says, meet Roger, skilled with words, languages comes easily to him. He instinctively understands how the world works through the power of story. Meet Dodger, his twin. Numbers are her world, her obsession, her everything. All she understands, she does so through the power of math. 
Roger and Dodger aren't exactly human, though they don't realize it. They aren't exactly gods either. Not entirely, not yet. Meet Reed, skilled in the al alchemical, alchemical arts, like his pro progenerate progenitor dang i cannot read anymore i feel like i suck at reading now before him reed created dodger and her brother he's not their father not quite but he has a plan to raise the twins to the highest power to ascend with them and claim their authority as his own godhood is attainable pray it isn't attained um uh, okay so i don't know if the <laughs> synopsis sounded that great um but it's pretty much about these two twins who are designed to be really prestigious in certain areas Roger is like the master of words and language and Dodger is in the master of like math and numbers and it's just I don't know that just sounds really cool that like, they're designed to be really prestigious in those areas and I think they're separated so they don't even know about each other and it's like them being these like higher creations in like a mortal world I don't know it just sounded really really cool and i'm thinking about reading this i actually have the audiobook right now borrowed from libby as well as the ebook so i've been thinking about going into this book but the only thing is i don't know if i want to get into like a really big book right now it's not really big but it's a little bit bigger from what i'm wanting to get into and it's about it's about 520 ish pages so i don't know if i want to get into that right now but that was one of the books i picked up and it was just like a late night little Barnes and Noble hangout and it was really really nice so I just got this book and I love the freaking cover I wish this was hardcover like a hardcover sorry I'm out of breath I I think because being sick I'm out of breath really easily so I might be like really sluggish in this video and I might seem like really out of it but I miss having people to talk to so this is really nice to be able to film again so this was one of the books I picked up and then I also picked up this was like two bucks at Goodwill but it was the book thief by Marcus Zusak I think that's how you say the name I'm not a fan of the cover just because I'm not a fan of covers with human faces on it I, I don't know why I just never liked covers with like actual people on it it just for some reason it bothered me I'd rather even be a cartoon cover but it was two bucks and I've heard really good things about this book and so I found it and I was like you know what and I got this a while ago I got this like three months ago but it's a book about books and yeah and so I really want to read this it's something I really want to read and if you find a book at the thrift store so this was another book that I've heard a lot about it's a big book and it's the goldfinch by Donna Tartt this is like one of the OG books that you always hear about I think she also wrote a secret history which is another book I want to read of hers, but this book was only three bucks at the thrift store. And I got this the same time as the book thief. Those two books I got, maybe like, it was three months ago. Like, it was even way before I even moved. I think it was right when I signed my lease, how it feels. Like, it's just, I love big books and I love floppy books. So this was just like really cool. And it was three bucks, so I've been wanting to read it. I've heard, I think the first person I heard read about it was another like, youtuber so these two books were sent to me by the authors so graciously and kind that they sent it to me i'm so grateful and happy and i want to feature it in this video and this is the second book of the book review i did this is the second book and this is blood in the water by brooklyn quintana and she was so amazing so i wrote the book review and she was like i loved your review do you want the second book and i was like of course i do that is such an honor so i was so happy i'm excited to read the second book because the first book was worth all those pages and I freaking love like big hefty books like this like I'm excited because I actually had so much fun with the first one it was like this was the first one actually got me through the whole transition stage of trying to move into a new place with my new job and like the anxiety of everything and it really pulled me out of like into a new adventurous world on my lunch break so that was something really really fun to read and this is the second book so I'm excited to read this as well so I'm so thankful and happy thank you so much this is a wizard dream and I don't want to seem and I don't want to say the name wrong by Herjovi Bukovic I hope I'm not saying the name wrong but I am so thankful and grateful that you reached out to me because I'm really excited to read this any book about wizards and magic is something I'm always like I'm always open to reading so this is a synopsis it says born into a living feeling world risen from primal waters asia asia yeah the dream seer roams the mystical plains forged by the wizards she faces the horrors lurking in the underworld twisted conceptions teased only by chaos the fires of purgatory seeking to remake her and the tenders 
of dreams dwelling in the heavens. Aided by the goddess of her land and stalked by death himself, she stumbles upon a secret of life and a vision of what her world could be. I'm just so excited. I also love the little like the little character in the front. I don't know if you can see. Sorry, my hands are so dry. I just washed it a billion freaking times. But it's so cute. I actually am really excited to read this. I'm super excited. I was so honored that they reached out to me as well. And I cannot wait to get into this. I'm like trying not to... I like like how simple the chapter like headings are. So it's like longing, acceptance, leap, time. I don't know. I just, I like that. So I'm really excited. Thank you so much for reaching out to me. And I was really excited to get this in my PO box. There was like an issue with my PO box. It took me a while to be able to get a hold of it. But when I finally got it, I was just so excited. So thank you so much again for reaching out to me. And I cannot wait. So those are some of the books. It's like a tiny little book haul. I, oh yeah, I also got, oh yeah, I forgot. I actually got two books. Hold on, let me close my door. Because I got two books. So... This book I just got recently at the used bookstore that I go to that I absolutely love and adore. I saw that they're closing a couple hours earlier though, which I understand because it's getting so dark now. With the, This is another thing, the time change has really thrown me off because, I don't know, normally I take it pretty well, but this year it's just really weird for me to have it so dark so early. I think especially because like I'm, I don't know, like when I get off it's just like freakishly dark. So even when I'm walking my dog, it's crazy dark outside. But this was a book I've been wanting to read for a while and it's One Day in December by Josie Silver and I love the cover for this. I just think it's so cute. It's like a cute Christmassy book. I wasn't a big fan of the synopsis before but I've heard a lot of people like this book so I decided to give it a try. Plus it was like three bucks at my used bookstore so and I have to support that place. Every time I go there I just love supporting my local used bookstore. There's also another bookstore I saw that just opened because where I live there's not a lot of bookstores other than like Barnes and Noble and a few used bookstores here and there. There's another one that opened up and they have cats inside so I really really want to go. So that's always a win for me. I wanted to have like a Christmassy book to kind of incorporate and more Christmas books on my TBR for December. Um, so this is one of them I want to read. Next one I actually already read and I freaking loved it. It's Anatomy, a love story by Dana Schwartz and this freaking book is so pretty to me. I just think it's so gorgeous. And this is what it looks like. I think this is actually another book that kind of got me back into reading again. It was so good. And I know she has another one. It's Immortal. Um, and the covers of these books are just gorgeous. So it was so good. I actually love the concept of it. Um, so if you haven't read it, I would definitely recommend. But yeah, I think I'm going to do like a mini break right now because I'm getting out of breath. <laughs> I think because I, like I said, I've been sick. So... I'm running out of breath right now. So I think I'm gonna just try to fold some laundry and yeah, maybe disinfect some things as well. But I do feel really out of breath, so. It's not the best angle, but I'm playing my Switch right now and I'm playing Hogwarts Legacy. I wanted to ask you guys, what house are you guys? Is your, if you're a Harry Potter fan, what is your house? because I am actually a Ravenclaw. I took the test a long time ago. The very first time I took my test, I remember it was like maybe end of high school, college, I was a Slytherin. And for the longest time, I think I was a Slytherin. But I think after just recently, like who I really am is a Ravenclaw. Ravenclaw, so if anybody's a Ravenclaw, let me know. And yeah, I like the house that's on here too. I'll show you guys later, but it's kind of hard to angle it, so. But this game is so fun. If you guys have it, I would. It's just so much fun. I love it. I love anything. I was actually even thinking about just picking the Gryffindor house because um, I wanted to have something as close to Harry, Hermione, and Ron. But I also just love the vibe of the Ravenclaw house. It's just so, like, it gives me that dark academia vibe for sure. A little check in to just show that I am not reading but I am definitely playing Hogwarts Legacy right now. Okay, so it's later in the afternoon right now. I think it's about like three-ish and I've kind of played Hogwarts Legacy a little bit and um, was catching up on laundry. And while I was doing that, I was listening to the audiobook of Nevermore, which I do have the physical copy of it. I'm about 77% in. So I'm almost done with this book and honestly, I really do like this book. I think I just 
didn't devote a lot of time to reading it. It gives me like Harry Potter mixed with Howl's Moving Castle vibes. I love the world that she created. It, it This is definitely like a children's book, but it was just, it's just a fun read. And I pretty much picked it up during Halloween because I wanted that type of vibe at the time. And then it just trailed into way past Halloween because it's now like the middle of November and I'm still trying to read this. But also don't mind, I'm washing the covers of the couch pillows right now so everything's kind of like looks crazy back there but yeah I think I'm gonna put up my Christmas tree hopefully kind of tidy up a little bit more so but I want to do an update I'm about 77% in and it's just a really fun audiobook I think I'm gonna take a, take a break from this book for a little bit I still haven't decided what I wanted to read yet so I'm thinking maybe we can like kind of read a few pages of each book and see which one we want to do because I do want to beat another book I just don't know what exactly and then I'm probably just gonna play some YouTube videos in the background while I put up some decorations, just a few decorations here and there. Also, I wanted to show that this was the Christmas tree I got. It's the seven foot pre-lit willow tree. And I wasn't really, I didn't expect to get like a bigger tree, but this one was at a really good price for how it looked. Like it was fuller and I liked how the branches looked. I like more rounder-ish trees compared to like longer skinny ones. I like these ones better. And this one was for Michael's. And I got it during their Black Friday Christmas tree sale, and I think it was like 90 something, I think, or 80, 80 or 90 for this, with with like the look of the tree plus the the size of it. I was surprised that it was seven foot for that price because I kind of did shop around and I don't know, maybe I was because I looked for a tree like at the beginning of November. And this is the one I got, and I'm excited. It's the Ashland Christmas seven foot pre lit willow tree. So. This is a mess, but I'm thinking about putting the tree like right here so it's gonna face these windows in front of a window, which I love. I love when you're outside, you can see a Christmas tree. I'm excited. I can't get over like how excited I am to open up the Christmas tree. I kind of um, opened the top, but look. I kind of opened this part. Oh, I just ripped it. And then this part kind of stuck out. Ah, something about a Christmas tree is just so exciting. And I think I'm just so happy because this is my first one. I'm just so excited. I'm not, I'm not going to decorate it yet. I'm going to wait until my little one's here to help me. But I'm so excited. I'm gonna show this. So this is actually like a really like unexpected surprise and this is a this is a little bed. Okay, so this is actually the next day, but I just wanted to do like an update because I'm so excited tomorrow I am getting a little kitten and I just wanted to just kind of document this as like a memory because I'm just so excited for a new little addition. Um it's just my dog right now and my snake, but I, I, I noticed that my dog has been really, really lonely and ever since I moved and uh, it's just, I, I miss having a cat, I miss having a pet, another pet like with my, my dog and I can just tell he's been so lonely and tomorrow I'm gonna do like a little test run and see how this little kitten does. They said that she's really, really friendly. I don't know exactly how old she is so I'm gonna see but I'm just so excited. I cannot wait to go see her. I'm thinking... I think she's a Siamese lynx is what they said she is, which I wasn't really specific on a breed. I just saw her and I fell in love with her and, and I just cannot wait. And I am currently sitting like by my Christmas tree. So there's my tree and I'm just, I don't know, 
Oh yeah, and there's my mantle. I don't know if you'll be able to see it that well. And I'm currently just sitting here and I was gonna play my Switch for a little bit, but I just cannot focus because I'm just so excited. So I ordered a few things on Amazon. Like I've already had a litter box. I have just small things. I even have like a little cat bed for her and it's like a little banana peel, which is so cute, I'll show you. And I just ordered, I, I only wanted to get like a necessity at the moment because I wasn't for sure I was gonna get her until like today so when i saw her i fell in love with her and i just i cannot wait um tomorrow morning i'm supposed to pick her up and like give it a try and see how she does with my dog how my dog does with the little kitten i also my dog has always loved cats my dog has always been around cats or had some type of animal around him and he's just like a big friendly dog like he's just so sweet and he's always has has had a companion i i actually i've had cats before out of all the pets I've ever had, next I've always, I am a dog person, but I think I'm slowly becoming more of a cat person because I love having cats. They're just the best book buddies, and they're just so. They're actually to me, I think cats are a lot more easier than um, other pets. You know, as long as your pet's like overall healthy, they're just a lot more easier. And I just am so excited because I can tell he's been lonely. I can tell. He misses like having a companion and I really thought about this for quite a while. I just really wanted a cat and I missed having a cat and I was just waiting for the perfect time, the perfect moment and I thought of getting a cat now because I'm actually on a break so it would be a nice transition to get the cat settled. I think it would be nice too because once, mm, well, I mean hopefully my dog and the cat like get along really well which I'm not worried about my dog, I'm just worried about the cat because I know my dog loves all types of animals. But I am nervous about the, the kitten to see how the kitten will make with him. But um, yeah, I'm just so excited. Like I am so excited. To, I'm actually getting a bunch of things kind of delivered to my house. So I got some cat food and um, a few, like a couple of food dishes and like a mini little cat toy. I'm not gonna go crazy on cat toys because cats are like super low maintenance when it comes to toys. I mean, you can always get them toys, of course, but cats like will find anything and have fun with it. And so right now I just want to see like her personality. I want to see how she meshes well with my dog. And the only thing I'm nervous about is that I just put up my Christmas tree. So I'm a little afraid and I know how kittens are with trees. So we'll see how that goes. But I just think this would be a perfect time for me to transition a little kitten because I am off for like a mini Thanksgiving break from work and I just feel like it'd be a nice transition. Thinking, I wanted like something Harry Potter based named so I was actually, actually thinking of naming her Queenie um, or Lally because I love Lally. So we'll see. Oh, I'll respect herself for the face, so we'll see. But yeah, I'm getting a few things delivered tomorrow. Um, I'm also looking at some cat trees on Amazon right now because I saw that there's a bunch of cute looking cat trees that actually look good. Like it looks cute in homes and I always wanted to get like a nice cozy cat tree with like one where they can kind of snuggle up in and they can feel safe in but then also one where they can like sleep on top and like perch and like little entertainment on there as well and I saw that Amazon has a lot of them um, on sale right now for Black Friday so I'm actually really thinking about getting one right now because this is the best time to get all these things I need um, and as for reading I have not <laughs> sadly gotten any reading done i was playing the audiobook of nevermore for a little bit while i was kind of like doing laundry and everything yesterday which i love that book and i also like because the part of the book i'm at which i'm at about like 72 percent in i think and it's like a christmas, like a christmas part which made it so exciting because it's like festive time of year so i really really like that because i also just got hogwarts legacy and that's me kind of like competing with what i want to read and also, if I'm getting a new kitten, I'm just going to be really distracted with that. So, we'll see. So, I hope this is not like a not really reading vlog and it didn't go as well. Over here is like a little nook, which I'm going to fix up later. But you can kind of see there's like a nook and then it goes up. And then I was thinking about putting a cat tree like right here, like against this wall. So that it can kind of look out this window. Because I have like two windows on each side. But I'm not for sure yet because I don't know. And don't mind the cable management over there. It's really messy. Just... Yeah, so I don't know. That part's not done yet. I just kind of put it out right now until I can figure it out. I don't even know if I want to keep this exactly like that, but it's cozy. And then I have my Christmas tree, which has been... Oh yeah, don't mind that either. My record player and all that stuff over there. The nooks are the parts that are still in progress because, you know, finding nook cushions is really hard.
going to document really really quick because I'm running really late but I'm gonna get my little one and I am so excited and I'm excited that I'm getting her on Thanksgiving and yeah I'm about to go pick her up and meet her and yeah it's gonna be really quick because everybody's still cooking dinner right now and I need to grab a few things as well so yeah I just want to check in real quick and say happy Thanksgiving and yeah, I'm excited <music>